Nearly 200 people gathering at the state capitol today to remember and honor law enforcement officers who have died in the line of duty. Glad to have you with us today at 5 o'clock, everybody. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. Today marks the 41st annual State Peace Officers Memorial Day service. Arturi Lynch attended today's event and joins us live to explain why this year's memorial was different from those mm -hmm. in years past, Troy. Yeah, that's right, Laura. It was a little bit different this year, and it was a really an emotional day for all of the loved ones of our fallen community heroes. However, it's interesting because not all of the fallen heroes died while in the line of duty. However, no matter how they passed away, the hurt is the same for those who were closest to the fallen. 14 rings of the bell for 14 Arkansas peace officers who passed away over the last two years. And 14 names of those who paid the ultimate price now with their names etched forever in a memorial outside the state capitol. This is a great honor for us, for our son to uh, be able to be written down on these memorials with the other officers that have lost their lives. Edgar and Rebecca Moore's son Chandler worked as an Arkansas Highway Patrol officer until a combination of COVID and pneumonia took his life September 5th of last year. Every day is a battle. I mean, it really is hard. Chandler's sister Mary Lynn carried a photo of her brother to help honor him. That's when he graduated. Yeah. Why did you want to bring him here? So he would be here too. So he could see everybody and what they were doing for him. COVID also took the life of Sheridan police officer Shane Green, who passed away last August. When you lose that person so suddenly and unexpectedly, you just, it just doesn't feel right. You know? Officer Ken Wicker was Green's partner for 22 years. Their bond now forever represented by this pin. He knew what the job was and he knew what he wanted to do and he fulfilled every aspect of it. And so for us still here, we carry that torch. A flame that continues to burn bright, even for those who still are trying to find peace after losing a loved one. The only thing that I can say that would help them is uh, God has to be in your heart, and he's the only one that can give you peace. It's not an easy job. It's not. Leaving your family, not knowing when you're going to come back or not, it's not easy. It's not easy to heal from that large of a loss. Every single family member or close one uh, that I talked to today, say, they said the healing process, they just have to take it day by day. Live here in Little Rock, Troy Lynch, I'll send things back to you.